everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and we are on week, um, on the end of the week, as we are looking at concluding our ser series on reshaped. And boy, have I been reshaped during uh, these four weeks as we have been journeying together on the theme of change and thinking about all the changes that have happened and are happening and are going to happen in my life and um, in our church. And I know the importance of community as we do that. And that's where I want to end today as we were talking about being encouraged, the power of community as we gather together and how important this is as we go through life and through the changes of our lives that we do not, we're not expected to go through all the changes of our lives alone. No, we have community that surrounds us. At least we have the opportunity to have community that surrounds us and to be a part of that encouraging, giving courage um, in the community. I, I think about many times in my ministry, but one time in particular, uh, many years ago when I was going through the fire and um, every, I think just about every pastor has had at least one experience when they have gone through conflict in church and going through the fire and it gets personal and it hurts and it's, you know, it's, it's not pretty and it really, really is difficult. Um, and that was happening to me in, a, in another church and, um, and I was grateful to have the support of community, to have the support of church leaders and others who uh, surrounded me and gave me strength and courage that I did not know I had. Um, there's a psalm in here, uh, Psalm 130, let's see, what is it? 136, 136. And this is a, um, a psalm of praise for the work of God's creation. And uh, there's just a refrain that keeps going over and over and over again in this. Uh, there's like 26 verses in this chapter. And everyone talks about, Oh, give thanks to the Lord of heaven for his steadfast love endures forever. And, you know, we've been talking about the fact that God's love is nothing. Not a thing can separate us from God's love. Um, and a lot of, way, of ways that we know that is through the love and support of community. And when I was going through this particular time, I remember reflecting upon it with uh, one of the elders of the church much later. And I, and I said, one of the things that I have learned is that I have more courage than I thought. I have more courage than I thought. And part of that was in no small, most, no small part, was due to the encouragement that others gave me. You know, that there's, uh, God created us for community, and we've talked about that, you know, that we were not, we were not created islands unto ourselves, and the church was created for this sense of community and sharing of the faith that would help people to be strengthened in their faith and their hope in God. And so uh, the word encourage actually comes from the French coeur. I don't know if that's the way to pronounce it, but C-O-E-U-R, meaning heart, the heart, the seat of the heart, in fact, is what encourage means. The seat of the, of the emotions, the heart. If we can have courage to take that step forward towards change and also to be encouragers, encouragers of others to do the same, this is one of the meanings of community. Um, I don't know about you, if you're feeling in your life that you are all by yourself, but this is a call to you again today. COVID did something from us, and it hurt the church in many ways. It strengthened the church in other ways. But I really do want to encourage you to give you courage to gather together. Um, Hebrews tells us, do not, do not uh, ignore this in your life. Come together, join together together. Get strong in your faith. Be reminded of your faith. Know that you don't have to 
journey this path of life by yourself. Um, and even though that God, the fa our faith in God, that God is with us through everything we go through is true, we need some people with G that are Jesus with skin on to remind us of that again and again and again. So if you have been out of the community of faith, out of the community of faith in person, I just want to invite you to come back, to come back and to be encouraged, to know that you are not walking alone, to know that God is here with you through us. And that as we encourage one another, as you encourage me, don't think I don't need encouragement because I'm telling you, I do. And I need to be reminded that God is with me too. We all need it, friends. So let us offer ourselves to the community, to be community, to encourage, to gain courage that our faith offers us as we gather together. Will you pray with me? Loving and gracious God, I thank you that you are still in the process of reshaping my life and all of our lives so that we might be more and more like Jesus. Please continue to remind us the importance of your word and of gathering together and of being in worship so that we can place ourselves in a posture of faith and trust and hope in you and to know that your steadfast love endures. It endures today, tomorrow, and forever. We give you our thanks and we give you our praise. May we live like that this day in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.